Ooh-wee! Wow! 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 Okay, Eagle fans, you got it. After one really good year that ended up being in the Super Bowl, Jalen Hurts signs a brand new contract for $51 million a year, the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. $255 million with $179 million fully guaranteed. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a whole hell of a lot of money. Um, I'm sure they've got it structured where they will, you know, with the signing bonus, the guaranteed money and all, that's all prorated in the length of the contract. So probably they'll get some cap relief in the you know first year to give them a little bit of extra space. But at some point, the bills got to come due. Now, here's where this could be a deja vu moment here. Because you'll remember, Carson Wentz was paid big time. He was not the highest paid. He did not get the highest paid contract. But he was up in there and precipitously ended up dropping like a rock. So that will be interesting to see how that goes. And we'll see if we hear the whole stuff about you can't pay a quarterback that kind of money and expect to win. We'll see if they, they, they put that out there. And that, of course, makes um, Dak Prescott's salary compensation go down the line. Here's the problem for me as I see it is the Cowboys have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get Dak's deal done. You now have Daniel Jones at the same level as Dak. You got Jalen Hurts at 51. And you can best believe that if Aaron Rodgers goes to the Jets, he's going to want to get a new deal. He's not going to want to get paid less than Jalen Hurts. And, of course, you got Joe Burrow that's out there. You've got Justin Herbert that's out there. You've got other guys that are going to continue. I don't know how long Jalen Hurts will be the highest paid quarterback. But I can guarantee you that he won't be the la the last highest paid quarterback in the NFL. The numbers are going to go up. So congratulations, Eagles. You got your quarterback locked up. A guy who going into last year, you weren't sure he was going to be the guy for you. Um, that there was questions abound about him and his ability. And you had the backup plan of draft picks if you needed to go elsewhere. Uh Fortunately for you, you were able to get that dude. And, um, yeah. Hold on. 